What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys we have brand new information on the season of opulence and all that comes with it including possible new exotics, new modes, new pinnacle weapons, new events and much more including a roadmap of when all this will land. So let's start. Now there's been a trailer that has been dropped. If you haven't seen it, check it out on screen now. A new mystery awaits you, Guardian. Welcome to the season of opulence. What will you find in the Emperor's lost vaults? Treasure hunts will lead you to powerful weapons and armor. These will quickly boost your power level and prepare you for the menagerie. This season's all-new six-player match-made activity. Grow strong, Guardian. Prove your worth. Okay, so it looks pretty cool, that's for sure. And no doubt within the trailer you spiked some seriously interesting things, including the Truth Rocket Launcher. Yes, that is making a return. But before we go any further, guys, if you do enjoy the video, I'm going to show support you can by hitting that like button as it really does help out. Okay, so where to start? So let's firstly speak of what we know about this new six-man match-made activity, the Menagerie. From the trailer we don't see much of it but I bet a lot of influences come from the reckoning and it's just being evolved. The fact that it's 6 man as well is pretty cool and the fact you can also match make is even better. So Callus is behind the menagerie and it's within his vaults we go it seems. Assembling your chalice of opulence is just the first step. Callus has crafted a maze of challenges in his lost vaults. Test your strength in the all new 6 player match made activity, the menagerie, and meet his challenges head on to unlock your rewards. We have Leviathan secrets, confront new challenges on an unexplored deck of Kallus' massive ship, and treasure awaits, upgrade the chalice of opulence to berry farm which gear you earn, and it has replayability. Carve your way through ever changing paths and enemies. This sounds pretty cool and unique and I cannot wait to learn more on it. Now I do have images of certain said loot coming with this new season but we will get to that in a quick second. Ok so what else do we know about the new raid, the crown of sorrow? Well we don't learn too much info from the trailer, the trailer seems to show a massive vex boss but this indeed could be a part of this new menagerie activity. So I don't want to jump to any conclusions and confirm this new raid will be Vex we will be taking on as I do think Bungie are keeping hush on this new raid and are trying to make it as fair as possible for those chasing worlds first when it is released on June 4th. So we will see people, it could be Vex, I mean this Vex boss looks pretty cool but again like I said it could be a part of the menagerie we just do not know yet. Ok so let's move on to this new gear that's coming. Annual past content in Season of Opulence provides a new path to earn some of the best gear in the game. Use the Chalice of Opulence to choose which type of gear you earn from the Menagerie. Unravel the mystery and unlock its power to build a loadout that matches your play style. Ok so on screen now you can see much of the loot and gear Opulence will have. Some of this is no doubt raid loot, some Menagerie loot and other stuff is quest loot. Like that thing you see there looking like the truth, that's because it is the truth people. We see a hand cannon which looks very reminiscent to that of the old school Ayas Luna. You guys remember that bad boy from Destiny 1? Why it was such a good thing. Now I ain't saying this is going to be the exact thing, but we all know what this weapon is based off. And I cannot wait to learn more about this. But the general feel of these weapons and the theme behind them definitely seems to me to be those which are obtained from the same activity, whether that be the new crown of solo raid or the menagerie activity. We don't know yet. Ok so gameplay updates, let's check out what's happening. Power Surge, Forsaken the owners can heed Callus's call to quickly catch up to the power of their fellow guardians. Iron Banner returns, Destiny 2 owners should return to Lord Saladin and discover how they can forge a path to new rewards, who also people has a quest for us which we will see in a second, and also exotic weapons and armour. 
annual pass owners can add more of the best weapons to their collections. Cool. Okay, so new Pinnacle Gear. Every player of Destiny 2 will find their rank reset in the Crucible, Gambit and Vanguard missions. At higher ranks, Guardians will find rewards that double as both weapons and trophies, and the right to carry evidence of your prowess into the battle. So the weapons are, Crucible will get a Sniper called the Revoker, miss shots are returned to the magazine after a short duration. For the Vanguard we have a grenade launcher called the Wendigo GR3. Orbs of light increase blast radius and damage, great more grenade launchers. And then we have the Hosh which is a gambit bow pinnacle weapon, hit 5 charts give a massive draw speed bonus. Cooly yo. Now main one here is definitely the revoker, many people have been asking for a pinnacle sniper for a long time. This thing definitely looks game changing that is for sure. Ok so lastly before we check out the roadmap, let's check out the free summer event coming, the Solstice of Heroes. The Solstice of Heroes is a tradition in which guardians reflect on past hardships and celebrate the resilience of humanities for most defenders. Celebrate with other guardians in this limited time event. Pursue Solstice Armor. Seek out Eva Levante in the tower to begin your pursuit of year 2 Solstice Armor. Embrace the light. Create elemental orbs by matching your elemental damage to the daily element. Collect 30 orbs to gain the empowerment buff. Be triumphant. Harness the power of the elements to optimize your pursuit of glory and loot while moments of triumph is still active. Cool, sounds decent. So on screen now people we can see the roadmap of all this glorious new content. And we see that on June 4th with the release of Opulence we also get the Menagerie as well as the Raid. June 11th people we get a new boss for the Menagerie as well as a quest for the Truth Rocket Launcher. Wow! June 18th we get a new Menagerie boss and the Iron Banner quest. Interesting. And on June 25th we get an heroic version of the Menagerie activity as well as a quest for a weapon I'm sure we will all agree on being a new exotic. It's called the Lumina. And it looks absolutely amazing. At the moment this is the only image we have of this new exotic but it looks pretty cool and I cannot wait to see what this thing offers. July 9th we get a tribute haul and moments of triumph and on June 30th we get the Solstice of Heroes event. And damn people look at the armour. Hunter rocking those Wolverine gauntlets. Wow. But guys that is it, that is all we know so far about the opulence, if anything else drops so people I will be sure to have you guys covered right here on my channel. But on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really does help out, if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload it can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.